Hello people, viewers, subscribers and whatnot. <laughs> um, I'm back for another video. Uh, I just wanted to clear a few things about what I said in my last video about Ashley Escort. Um, I didn't mean any uh, offence or nothing. I weren't like, dissing him or uh, being a bully or nothing. I was just just saying that. <laughs> just saying that oh, my game was in the same standards of Ashley Escort because he likes his games minty mint like to perfection. That's what I was saying. I went trying to have a poke at him or have a pop at him. I, I don't mind the guy. I, I've got nothing against him. I like I, I like watching his pickups. I liked his uh, atmosphere in the on YouTube, like what he does. <laughs> I was just just saying. I went. I think I, I thought I opened a can of worms there, where I got a lot of comments saying it weren't aimed. His comment weren't aimed at me and stuff. But I know that it's just. He just uh, the only thing I only thing, um, thought in my mind that it could have been aimed at me is because it wasn't direct. It didn't say, "Oh, there's too many cunts on uh, YouTube brackets." Not not you, because he didn't say not me. He could have said, "Oh, there's too many cunts, and I'm one of them." But uh, yeah, it's just no. Oh, well, just I'm sure uh, he didn't mean me. So uh, yeah, if you're watching Ashley Escort, peace. White flag. <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not a threat. I'm not a target. I'm not one of these people that are jealous and ever uh, cause you problems in the, for, from YouTube. I'm cool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what I wanted to. What another thing I wanted to talk about was uh, uh, resellers. Do you like, like my uh, little gaming chair, little rocking chair? But yeah, resellers. A lot of people say they complain about resellers and eBay prices and uh, stupid buy it now prices. You can't. It's not the reseller's fault. I've got nothing against the reseller. It's buying something for cheap and then doubling up his money and getting getting it extra every every uh, squeezing every pound and penny out of it. Nothing wrong with that. If you've got something that's worth, say it. 50 pound and you know it's worth average of 50 pound but you know if you if you wait and be patient you can squeeze an extra 20 quid out of that or you can squeeze it for everything it's worth i'm sure you would take it as well you wouldn't want to be cut short 20 pound or whatever and you want to get the most for it so really it's not the resellers we should be blaming it's the buyers the people that actually pay the buy it now prices because these prices are there for a reason they're not just made up Oh, something's worth fifty pound. Oh, we're gonna charge hundred. They charge a hundred because they've seen it go for that sort of price, so they want the same. It's the people that uh, pay it. If we stop paying these uh, buy it now prices, then maybe they'll drop. Depends how desperate they are to sell it. So uh, yeah, but I am a bit of a hypocrite because I do give in to these buy it now prices because, like I said, I'm not bothered about uh, bargains, and I do like to get it cheap. I'm not offered if I pay over the odds. I paid over the odds for a reason because I wanted it. Uh, yeah, I've got if you if you can hear, I've got Mario playing. I've got, I'm having a little session on that. Um, yeah, and I've just played Sonic. I've just done. I've recorded a whole Sonic session of Sonic One. Like I've recorded it. I'm gonna upload that soon. But I don't know if I took, if I'll put commentary on it. I just oh, just throw it up there. And I noticed that because it's in 50 hertz. You can notice, you can see it that it's slower than the uh, like the ports that I've been playing on, like PS2 and the Xbox 360 live arcade version. I think they're the American ports because when you go back to your Mega Drive and put it in, you, it's a big, big difference when you when you play it. But it's not doesn't bother me. I'm a fucking pro at Sonic. I can play it if you put it in uh, slow mode, like Turbo po Turbo Pad with, a, with the slow switch. I can still, I still. Uh, mash it and complete it but I've got too much experience under my belt <laughs> with Sonic but uh, yeah resellers it's not the it's not the reseller it's the buyer that's what happens in supermarkets ain't it if things ain't selling for their price they drop the price don't they then you get this the offers the buy one get one free all these buy two and get the next one half price it's the same thing with eBay if you don't pay it then they're gonna, they've got no choice but to drop the price because they want to make a profit out of it. So if they don't sell it, they're stuck with the product. So it's the same with eBay. They've got the product, they want to sell it. 
It's just the ones with the higher buy it now prices. They know what it's worth. And they know one day there's it will sell. It will sell if uh, if it's something they know if they know what they've got and they know what is it, it's true worth. Then yeah, and then, and the reason they get that value is because they obviously seen it sell for that before. Like these click these uh, retro retro games like uh what can I say as an example to talk about a game that's expensive uh Whirlo Whirlo for the SNES I saw that sell for eighteen hundred pound when I first ever saw it on eBay and so anyone that's a SNES collector or knows that game will know that's its value values and the next time it pops up on eBay all those people that missed out the auction that got that, that uh, got outbid, they know what sort of price to throw at it next time, and then the next person that missed out on that that auction that really wanted it, they want the item, so they're not bothered about price. They'll throw an extra hundred pound on top of what it last sold. So if instead of eighteen hundred, the next one in the same sort of condition could sell for 2000 or maybe a bit more it depends how desperate you are to buy it so really it is the buyer's fault it's not this it's not the reseller well then that's, that's talking about auctions but buy it now price is the same sort of thing i know auctions go for a bit less than buy it now price but sometimes it goes beyond it depends how rare the item is and how often it pops up on ebay i mean i I'm, i fall victim to it don't i i just i'm not bothered i just if i want it i'll click it Something's forty quid, and I end up paying sixty pound. What's an extra twenty quid? It's nothing, is it? Uh, yeah, rambling on. I, I, I like I like doing these little vlogs. <laughs> it gets a lot of stuff off my chest. I just just let just let just let my uh, let my mouth run away and just say whatever. Um, yeah, now I now <laughs> now I said that I've got fuck all to say. Um, my let's plays I could talk about them I'm trying to get Ape Escape done as quickly as possible it's dragging on a bit I've been playing I've been I, I checked on my um, video manager like my playlists and I've been I started that three months ago because uh, sometimes I weren't uploading it if I uploaded it a video every day of a, a, Ape Escape I would have finished it by now I would have been, it would have been done probably a month ago but uh, yeah, it's dragging on because I've let everything get on top of me. I've got I've got Ape Escape on the go. I've got Zelda, which I'm clue. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to complete it because I've never completed it before. I I play it, I practice a bit, and then I record and hope for the best that it turns out all right. And then I've got uh, what else have I got on the go? I had Spot Goes to Hollywood. I started that and then just never went back to it. I don't know why. Because I ended up, I ended up playing something else. And uh, what else was I playing? Uh, Jinx. I've started that, which is a bit strange because I got part one, and that was a good. That that was alright. I got like nearly fifty views for that, and uh, I was requ requested for part two, and it's only got nine views. So really, forty-seven people were interested in the game, wanted to see what it's about. And they obviously think, oh, it's it's crap, so they want to they don't want to follow it through, and watch part two. So uh, I don't know whether to carry on with it and just pull it, pull it from the my channel. I don't know. I will be doing the 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 pickups as well. It's just um, just haven't been picking anything up. I've got my my uh, my grails coming. I've got one might might come tomorrow, and the other one is being posted tomorrow. And uh, the one that's being posted tomorrow is one of the good ones. Uh, I, w I, w I would say what it is, but it ruins the surprise, doesn't it? If I just say, "Oh, it's this," then when I actually show you it, it's just just uh, nothing in it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get back to my Mario and play some of that. I'm, I've got seven. I've got seventy stars at the minute for that. I, I wanted to. I should have just recorded it, shouldn't I? I thought I was surprised that I got that far. I was just playing it, and then I started it over Christmas time. I was playing it and got a few stars each day, and some of them were a nightmare to get, like to get in, getting a hundred coins in each level, in each world, 
and uh, some of the stars were uh, like the actual mission stars. What one, what, ga what one gave me trouble? Uh, shifting shifting sandland. That was a nightmare. You know, you know the one we used to get the um, get the eight red coins because four four of them are in the sky, and four of them are on the land. No, it wasn't that one. It was the one where you have to get the you have to go do different points of the level and then also once you've done that the the top of the pyramid uh, pings off and then you've got to go down and fight the boss the little the little hands that shuffle you off because if you get if you, you it takes you a while to get those to get into that bit so if you get in there and then you fail at that little boss it's not too hard but if you if you're not if you're not on the ball it can uh, throw you off guard and then you've got to do it all over again so yeah it's just gone over 10 minutes now I'm gonna stop rambling so yeah, don't blame the resellers, blame the buyer, the the, uh, the person with the money. So uh, yeah, uh, see you see you in the next vlog if I dis whenever I decide to do one, which will probably be soon. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna keep going. I've got another little problem. I've got I've got a little stalker on my hands. I've noticed that every time I make a video, I make the video and then overnight. Uh, I always get one. I get one dislike, so I've got one little jealous hater, hater raid, stalking me. Con I think someone sub purposely subscribed to my channel. Just to, when I, every time I upload a video, they're whenever they they're on YouTube, they click dislike on everything I do. It's a, it's not. I'm not bothered really. Is it? I'm flattered that they're giving me the light, that giving me the time of day to watch my video and make the effort to dislike it I mean I still after that I still get my view don't I so uh, yeah and the people that do like my videos the likes out outweigh that one little dislike so it doesn't mean nothing to me so whoever you are thanks uh, I think I know who it is it's someone it's a Nintendo fag a little fanboy because um the other uh, when I got the Wii U I went on load of re Wii, Wii U reviews saying Oh, it, the Wii U's crap. I don't like it. There's so many problems with it. There's nothing special. The game, the games are going to be shit. There's not unless they've got their bring out their their five big guns out, which the five big bigger the big guns, which is a main a main Mario game, which is like Mario Galaxy, and not the 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 generic the, the same old new Super Mario Brothers style because that's getting boring now. They're all getting the same. If they haven't got Kirby, Donkey Kong. Uh, Zelda, which I know they've got that, but who knows? The tablet might uh, destroy it, <laughs> destroy its a uh, legacy, and uh, we probably won't get it. But Ban Banjo Kazooie, or something of that caliber. So them five games, if they haven't got them, uh, it's going to be a bit of a flop because uh, yeah, Nintendo is starting to. They're like saying fuck, fuck all your old old the old fans, the people that have followed them throughout the decades, the past two decades, and they're they're jumping on the old first person shooter violent games because that's what they're going to be throwing out in the future. First person shooters and uh, fighting violent games, and not their uh, light um, kiddie games like the adventure games. I mean nowadays you don't see any platformers. And you like good platformers, you get a sprinkle amount. You don't not it's not a near amount to what you get for the shooters and the, the the violent games. You just don't get them no more. I don't know why. They're my favourites. <laughs> so yeah, um, so what you're doing, Nintendo? <laughs> you're just being like everyone else now. You're not being different. Like doing what you usually do. Like just make your own thing. Or maybe I'm just talking shit. Oh well, if you don't like this video and you've you've got this far, I've just took 15, 14, nearly 15 minutes of your life, your lifespan. You've wasted 15 minutes listening to me talk shit. So uh, yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Peace. And I'm out.